I believe the church has been discriminated against, as you know, in the uh, level two restrictions, where everybody else from strip clubs to um, rugby matches and malls, and as people know, a lot of the restaurants are all open, but the church was restricted with a thumb down on it to 10 people. We believe we could meet all of the health restrictions and we have the requirements. We've met those and we've opened the church door. I definitely churches and many other churches around New Zealand, in fact, I would say the whole of churches, have taken exception to the uh, health response bill. And so what we're doing here today, as some other churches are doing, is uh, we're taking a stand and we're saying that we can be trusted to manage our community. Uh, we believe that we provide a vital service, not only for our community, but for the public. The police I've been talking to all week, they were so satisfied that their presence I don't think is even here today. And they said to me, we don't need to be there because we are happy with what you're doing. And I told them that I was in an act of civil disobedience to the government because I believe it was a breach of our rights. Are you happy to be arrested then for your, your stand? Well, I was willing to be arrested. The early apostles were arrested because they were told by the political authorities of the day, no more preaching Jesus. They did because they couldn't disobey God. So I was willing to go to prison today, if that was the case. But you know what? I think a lot of New Zealanders recognise that there's been a change in our country and not a change for the good. It's a change where we're not free as we used to be. We can't just live and work and worship how we used to. They want to now put confines and limitations and restrictions and God knows where that will go to if that, that response bill remains.